All right, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I want to share with you um, a little devotional that the Lord had um, uh, showed me that he had helped me with. And what we're going to talk about today is moving forward with God, not without, moving forward with God in the midst of fear. How do I move forward with God when I'm scared? Okay, let's pray and then we get a little bit into this uh, devotional for today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day once again. Father, we just thank you and allow us, uh, thank you for allowing us to be in here this morning. Lord, I just pray that you just take this little short encouragement, Lord, this little short devotion, Lord, that you just press it upon the hearts of your people. Lord, I pray that they would just hear you, Lord, and not me because I cannot do anything for them, Father. And I pray that you would just be an encouragement to them, Lord. Give them what they need today through this, Lord. I pray that you just Please, Father, help them. There's so many things that people are going through, fears that they have, which are normal. And Lord, I pray that you just fill them with your presence, your spirit. Lord, please help them through this time, Father. Be with me today, Lord, as you have given me this, Lord, this thought. And I pray that you just help me to be, give me clarity of thought. Help me to get the point across, Father. I pray that you again fill me with your spirit. Speak to us this morning, Lord. Talk to us today that we hear from you, Lord. We love you. We thank you for your goodness. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, again, as, as I just said, how do I move forward in the midst of fear? So let me share with you a verse that the Lord had given me, Psalms 23. If you take your Bibles and turn to Psalms 23, and we're going to read the first four verses. So Psalm 23 says this, verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Verse four, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, here we go, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. How do I move forward in the midst of fear? Because God is with us. Don't ever forget it. I know, of course, during this time, there's a lot of fears. There's a lot of things going on that we don't know what's going to happen. But always remember, if we remember that God is with us, fear will still may be there, but we can continue to move forward in the midst of fear. Turn over in Psalms. You're still in Psalms. Turn over to uh, chapter 56. Go over to chapter 56. And we're going to read a couple verses there. So Psalms chapter 56, verses 3 and 4. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. The time that I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Whenever that is, whenever that time is that you are afraid, just remember that God is with you. He is with us. What time I'm afraid, I will trust in thee. Verse 4, in God, I will praise his word in God, I will put my trust. I will, here it is, I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Fear. Fear is a normal thing. Everybody has it. Everybody goes through it. But how do I continue to move forward when I'm scared? We have to remember that God is with us. A couple things I would like to share with you. Fear is an emotion that is caused by a person wondering about what might happen instead of looking at the God who is with us. When we get our eyes off of Christ is when fear comes. But when it hits, fear is going to always be around. It's a human emotion. But again, how do I move forward? If I remember that God is with me, that will help me move forward in the midst of fear. Turn to Proverbs chapter 4. Okay, jump over to Proverbs chapter 4. And we're going to read a verse here. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 25 says this. Let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before me. So instead of worrying about, man, I don't know what's going to happen. What, you know, I don't have a job, this, this, that. Let me tell you something. I'm talking about it, moving forward in the midst of fear and not knowing what's going to happen, what tomorrow may bring. This is one thing I would never forget. Years ago, I was working as an electrician in a Baltimore, in a union in Baltimore, talking about moving forward in the midst of fear and not knowing 
what's going to happen. Keeping your eyes on Christ because he is with us. I remember this to this day. I will never forget it. I was working. I worked at the uh, uh, um, Aberdeen Proving Ground in Baltimore for about two years. I was working for a construction company, electrical company, and I got laid off. Okay. Now, you may say, okay, people get laid off. But, but one thing I hadn't said yet, my wife, Tamara, wasn't working at that time. She was homeschooling our kids. Talking about living in the midst of fear. How do I move forward? She was working. I was the only one working at home. And I had just got laid off. I never forget this. I went to my car and I literally got a pink slip. I went to my car and I sat down in my car and I kind of chuckled to myself because I knew. I said, Lord, you knew this was going to happen. So I know you have something better for me. And I had to think to myself, I have to go home and tell my wife that I just got laid off, which means neither one of us have a job at this time. We still had a mortgage. We still had kids to feed. We still had utilities to pay. You talking about fear? How do I continue to move forward? I knew that God was going to take care of it. And God had used our pastor and another couple in our church to help us move forward even in the midst of fear. I was laid off for three months. For three months, my wife and I wasn't working. And within those three months, we still got our mortgage paid. We still had food in the house. And the Lord took care of us. You think I wasn't scared? I had a wife, and I believe at the time, maybe two kids, our two older boys at home. And neither one of us was working. How do I continue to move forward in the midst of fear? Because I had to remember, Lord, you knew this was going to happen. You knew I was going to lay it off today. When I woke up this morning, you knew I was going to get laid off. I didn't know, but you did. And I know you got something better. We didn't know this virus was coming, but God knew. God knew it was coming. So even though you may be fearful in this time, you may not have a job right now, but God, I promise you, if you stick close to God, you remember that, say, Lord, you knew this was going to happen. You have got to help me through. He will take care of your needs. So how do I continue to move forward in the midst of fear. First thing, what's number two that we have to remember? First thing, we have to remember that God is with us. The Bible says he would never leave us or forsake us. Never do we believe him. Even in this time, do we believe in the midst of fear that some of us may have? The Bible says God did not give us a spirit of fear. Okay, In this time, do we trust that the Lord will take care of us? So we have to remember, number one is that how do I continue to move forward in the midst of fear? God is always with me. He's always there. Number two is this. We have to realize he's always, he, he's always there and that we are not alone. He, we are not alone. Turn to Isaiah 41. All right. Isaiah chapter 41. And we're going to read Isaiah 41 verse 10. The first three words of Isaiah 41, 10 are this. Fear Thou not. Fear thou not. Why? Why is God telling us in Psalms 41 here not to fear? Here's why he's telling us not to fear. Continue on. For I am with thee. I'm with you. Sometimes you may feel like you're alone. Sometimes in the Christian walk you feel like you're by yourself. But the Bible says right here, fear not. For I, God, that's capital I. I, the I am, the Alpha, the Omega, the same God of the Bible is with you. I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I, capital I, for I am thy God. You one of his children? He'll take care of you. I am thy God. How do I move forward? How do I keep going in the midst of fear? You remember, God will never leave you. I am with thee. I will. What, this is what he would do. If we do this, if we fear not and be not dismayed because he is our God, he says, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with thy right hand of my righteousness. God will hold you in the right hand of his righteousness if we do not fear and won't be dismayed. The Bible tells us that he will take care of us. All of our need, he will take care of. Just like when I was laid off for three months with the wife and two children and a house payment and utilities, God took care of us. He held us up with his right hand 
of righteousness. He strengthened us and gotten us through. We did, he did not leave us. He would not leave you or forsake you. How do I continue to move forward in the midst of fear, of uncertainty? What's going to happen? How am I going to take your family? The Bible says, fear not, because I am with you. The last thing is this is some things I just want to read to you is this. We must go with God if we are going to face our fears successfully. Remember, we talk about how do we continue to move forward with him? Not without him, with him. Okay? We must go with God if we are going to face our fears successfully. As much as God promised that he goeth with us, we must realize that we must go with him. Okay? We go with him. God's direction is forward and moving. It is not going backwards and sitting. We have a statement in our teen boys class that we say, don't let fear freeze you. Because there's some people, sometimes you can be so gripped with fear that you can't move. You don't know what to do. You're frozen. Okay. The Christian life is not meant for us to be freezing and to be stagnant and not moving. The Christian life is for us to continue to move forward with God, with him, going forward with him, okay, not going back to the city. If we choose to run from our problems, our fears will overwhelm us and bring anxiety into our life because God, because they bring anxiety to our life because God doesn't stop going forward. Just because we decide to run, because we decide to run and not move forward, doesn't mean God's going to stop. God's going to keep going. We have to follow him. So if we choose to run and not face our fears with him, he's going to keep moving forward. And then we're going to miss out on his blessings. God doesn't allow our fears to cause him to stop going forward in life. Instead, he goes forward to get us past that which causes us to fear. Say that again. God doesn't allow our fears to cause him to stop going forward in life. Instead, he goes forward to get us past that which causes us to fear. If we choose to go forward with God, we will find that he will bring us past that which causes us to be afraid and fearful so that we can enjoy the blessings of victory that are found on the other side of fear. I know that was a lot. Let me read it again. Okay, let me read this again. He goes forward to get us past which causes us to fear God. Past what we're going to fear. If we choose to go forward with God, remember how do I keep going forward with God? If we choose to go forward with God, we will find this is what we find. He will bring us past those things which causes us to be afraid and fearful, so that we can enjoy the blessings of victory that are found on the other side of fear. Kristen, I'm here to tell you today. I know you're fearful. I know you don't know what tomorrow may hold. But the Bible tells us to keep moving forward for the cause of Christ.